Hi, I'm Daniel Hedefin and I work in the Kiraos Projects teams and I'm here in Ahuriri because I'm going to be involved in uh, helping Kiro reinstate Hastings to Waira. We've got some pretty massive damage, but in comparison to the local community, various orchards, um, people's houses, lots of that stuff has been taken away by the floods. It's pretty sobering seeing that as we're trying to think how we're going to get a railway open, but our railway is going to help um, moving stuff and getting Hawke's Bay back again. Uh, well, I live in, well, I did live in that house uh, 900 metres further up the valley. Up until midnight, we were all good. And then uh, sometime between one and two o'clock, uh, I noticed the water was rising much faster than predicted and it was coming up in about metre increments every 15 minutes. It was time to get the kids out and get the wife out of there. We didn't have much time to do anything else, then they were the last vehicle to get up this road safely. Me and a neighbour and a couple of others were scrambling around trying to cut fences for stock. Hopefully they'd swim out and, and uh, knock on a few doors, that sort of carry on. Then we realised we'd sort of passed the point of no return, we had to get out of there and we made a dash for it in the ute and probably got a uh, little less than a kilometre before the ute was picked up by the flood. And, Threw it through a power pole initially and then tried to tip on us. So by then we were already out the window and we had a bit of a swim up the valley. Still a few aftershocks floating around in the family. Wife and kids seem good at this stage, but um, you know, the bruises are only just starting to, to show, you know. Myself and Jenny Hum, the manager. We came down here and we got a generator and sorted out so we could have the hot water. So then we let all the staff know that the hot water was on, they could come and have a shower. And it was interesting, some people walk in all sad and gloomy and have a shower and they walk out happy ass, just, just through having a shower. We also got a washing machine in so people could do their washing. Come to be a meeting point sort of thing and then we slap on a barbecue and, and uh, divvy it out. The company gave us a um, care package but they also gave us $250 cash because no f boss and that, no power, and um, that was much appreciated by all the staff. Kirrell and the Welfare Trust come on board to give us the holiday home in Ahuriri, so it um, gives the, uh, us a chance to sort of um, heal as a family by ourselves without, without too much um, outside influence. Yeah. I've been involved in a few storm and earthquake incidents over the years, particularly Kaikoura earthquake and we've got experience in fixing big landslides, we've got experience in fixing big washouts and doing it quickly. So Woodville to Hastings, we've got work underway on site, building some retaining walls, building some embankment repairs, uh, fixing washouts, and so we hope to open to Hastings pretty soon. Then after we're open at Hastings, we'll be road bridging to Napier. The Napier piece, that's a bit more full on. We've got a, a big bridge washed out, it's bridge 217, that's lost about 60 metres of bridging and three piers. So that's going to be months to get that bridge reinstated. Once we've got that, then we're into Napier. At the same time, we're going to do a lot of assessing between Napier and Waira. So there's some pretty full-on damage through Eastdale and then further up the East River Valley. That's going to take us a number of weeks to get enough people out there safely to check all those damage sites. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess, but um trying to just get to the sets that have all wrapped around itself and uh, sort of cut our sections so we can uh, take it all back to the rail corridor, which is roughly about 100 odd metres away. I think the main thing I've got out of this is it's what, what we consider important, what's important in life. And uh, none of this matters. None of this matters. The damage doesn't matter. The house doesn't matter. Um, the single biggest tragedy in this valley has been the loss of a two-year-old uh, called Ivy. And that is the single biggest tragedy in Hawke's Bay. Um, and I was lucky enough to get out with my wife and kids. So we've just been trying to help others who are less fortunate, maybe not insured or can't, 
you know, have to stay in their property, so we'll, we'll help them out first. Um, yeah, the wife and kids, we're, we're fine for now, yeah, we're safe. And Kiarella have been great supporting us.